Take a second and picture what success looks like in your world. Push yourself out 5, 10, 20 years. What does your business look like? What do your finances look like? What does your family and your home life look like? Where are you living? Most of us usually have a pretty good idea of at least some form of a vision of what our future success is going to entail. What I want to highlight today is four of the most common pain points that I continue to see in my clients and even in my own life that are preventing success. We'll dive into those and we'll dive into a couple of things that you can do to overcome those pain points in order to create the life and the success that you envision. My name is Patrick Menefee and I'm a mindset and success coach. My entire job in my businesses and on this channel is to help you live a more intentional, fulfilled, and successful life, whatever that means specifically for you. Now, these videos come out every single Monday, so click that subscribe button so you can make sure you're notified when they do come out. And if you want more, I've got a newsletter that comes out every other week, the Menifee Monday Motivator. You can click the link in my description to subscribe to that newsletter. Now, when I look back at my story and I look back at the story of clients who I've helped overcome some of their challenges, they're, these are four of the pain points that have been the most consistent and they've shown up in some way, shape, or form. And we're going to group them into two and two because they each, they share a very common solution in a way that we can overcome them. And the first one is that people are regularly running away from something and they know what they're trying not to do. They know what they don't want, but they're not clear on what they want. They're not clear on what they're running towards. I've shared in a previous video that you can go back and look at. I've shared the story of a client of mine who was dead set on buying a franchise and it was the total wrong decision for him, but he was so focused in what he didn't want, which was his job, that he wasn't actually clear on what he did want, which surprise was not the franchise. It was something else altogether, but that seemed good to him. And that's a problem that we run into a lot because we chase a bunch of different things because we don't know what we want. And sometimes that's a process. We've got to figure that out. We'll get to that in a little bit, but there's a very big difference between running away from something and running towards something. And it's important to keep that in mind. And it's important to understand and identify and ask yourself, am I running away from something or am I running towards something? Now, the second pain point that I see regularly, especially in working professionals, whether you're trying to leave your job or whether you just want to build something on the side is I don't have time. You might say, Patrick, I, I have a family, I have kids. I want to spend time with them. I have friends and I have a social life. Totally fair. A lot of us don't have time. I can tell you that I've been out of my job since 2020 and it is 2024. I've been on my job for three and a half years and there are plenty of days that I still feel like I don't have enough time to do the things that I need to do. And I have all day, every day to spend time with my family, to work on my business, to do the things that I want to do. There's never enough time. Parkinson's law states that your activity will expand the amount of time allotted for it. But the thing that pain point one and two have in common is you can overcome them by having a clear target that you're working towards. A lot of times we talk about this as vision and I talk about this all the time, but when you have a clear vision that you're working towards, you have a clear idea of your future. Everything starts to change a little bit. When you know what that looks like, what it feels like, what your business consists of, what type of impact that business is making on people, how you feel when you're serving other people, how you feel when you're sitting in the home that you eventually are going to be living in. We talked at the beginning about what success looks like, but I'm talking about going deeper. I'm talking about digging into sitting five, 10 years down the road. You're sitting on the front porch at your house, loving where you're at. Life is great. What's your situation? What's your family situation? Where's the house? What does it look like? What is your business doing? All of these things create a really clear future. And now you're no longer running away from a job that you don't want, which means that you can go do anywhere or you can go anywhere and you can do anything. And a lot of times we go down the wrong path, like my client that was trying to buy a franchise that he didn't want. Instead, when you're focused on a future target that you're working towards, everything changes. Your time changes as well. Now it's not a trade-off of, well, I really want, my job isn't that bad and I really want to do these things on the evenings and weekends and I just, it's not worth it to make time. It's absolutely worth it to make time because if I don't make time, I don't get this life that I'm dreaming of. I don't get this very clear, vivid picture that I've created. There's a book called Vivid Vision where you actually draw all of this out. I don't get that if I don't put the time in. When you're clear on the vision, when you're clear on what you're running towards, you make the time and the pain points start to disappear. Now, the third and fourth pain points, these are, these are fun ones. The third one is, if it's too easy, I can't do it. It's not worth it. It's got to be hard in order to be worth it. I've got to grind. I've got to put in, I've got to, I've got to put my blood, sweat and tears into it. And if it doesn't cost those things, then I can't do it. We tell ourselves all of these stories about how hard everything needs to be. And a lot of times those are perpetuated by maybe parents or by bosses or by someone else that that's how it was for them. It's not good enough. It's not it's not the route that we're going anymore. You can do something that you enjoy, especially in the 21st century, in the world of AI, in the world of social media, and in the, in the world of technology. You can do whatever it is that you want to do and make money doing it. There's a way to do it. I damn near guarantee it. So you can do something that you enjoy. The question is, a lot of times, going back to the first one, what do you enjoy? What do you want? What 
does that look like? How do you overcome the personal fear that's associated with disappointing the people that said you have to grind, you have to put in the work, you have to pour your blood, sweat, and tears into something? Now, let me caveat that real quick to say, I'm not telling you not to work hard. You should absolutely work hard. Working hard is imperative, but working smart is significantly better. And working hard doesn't mean you can't enjoy what you're doing. That leads to pain point number four, which is I can't do it because I'm burnt out. I'm exhausted from grinding, working way too hard. I'm exhausted from pouring in my time nine to five, nine to six, nine to seven, and then working from seven to two on my business. I'm just burnt out and exhausted and I can't do it anymore. Or I'm exhausted from the business that is kicking my ass and I haven't, I've tried to hire people and it's not working and the business isn't going well and, and none of this is fun anymore and I'm just burnt out. These are very common pain points, whether you're still in your job and you're trying to do it all or whether you've left your job and you're, you're full-time in your business. And the way, one way that you can overcome this, there's a couple, but I have a friend named Carrie and she's a fun coach, which is a fascinating thing. And her entire life, her entire business is built upon this principle that if you can have fun, you can level up your business. You can grow. You need it in order to grow. She focuses on creativity, connection, and fun, and using those as actual assets in your life and in your business. And my encouragement to you is to think about how we a lot of times think about success. When we picture success, we picture the business side, we picture the grind, we picture the money, we picture all of that. What we a lot of times forget about is what does our health look like? What are we enjoying? When we're sitting on our porch, are we actually smiling, thinking about the life that we're living and the things that we're doing. You may have heard this said about donations and charity and how if you're not giving money when you're making $1,000 a month, you're not going to be giving money when you're making a million dollars a month. The additional money, the additional success, the additional time doesn't change who you are. It amplifies who you are. And if you're not someone that's taking care of yourself, if you're not someone that is willing to invest in who you are and invest in enjoying yourself a little bit. You're not going to enjoy yourself when you get to that level of success that you want. And you're gonna have a really hard time getting there because you're gonna be burnt out, because you're gonna be frustrated all the time. So my two big, big takeaways from all of this as we try to push away from these four pain points and help you move forward towards a successful life that you want is number one, how do you get and can you get really, really, really clear on where you're going, on what your vision is, on what your target is? Can you get super clear on that? And number two, can you have a little bit of fun while you do it? Can you live an enjoyable life? Can you live a meaningful life and not just grind and suffer and put your head down and focus for the next 20 years and then look up and your life has passed you by? How can you live your life right now? How can you enjoy your life right now so that you don't get burnt out and so that you don't feel like you're doing something wrong if you're not grinding and, and frustrated all the time? If you can focus on those two things, you can create an entirely different life for yourself and you can get a lot closer to that success that we talked about at the beginning, that success that you truly want. So I hope this is helpful to you. Again, click the subscribe button so you can see when this next video comes out next week and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know which pain point you're stuck on the most and if any of the suggestions to overcome them is particularly helpful to you. I'll see you next week.